Start by logging into Bookery. Choose Author Tools. Start a new book. Give your book a name. This will be where you contain your widgets. Now you need to choose a widget. So on the right hand side, add widget. And then scroll down and find the one that you want to use. Here we're going to use the Sketchpad widget today. So now I've got that and I'm going to give that Sketchpad widget a name so I can identify it later. I'm going to call this one Perspective. And then I'm going to look down here. The left hand side I don't need to worry about. I can come and do something later if I want, but here don't do foreground image on the right. Hit the background image. Hit custom background image. You're going to choose your file and then hit done. So depending on how big your file is, it will take a little bit of time to upload. Okay, so once that is loaded, all you're going to do is go down to the bottom and hit save. So now we need to get that link. So we're going to click on the menu at the top, iTunes U and App Link, and there is that widget code. This is what's going to get entered in the iPad. So this is case sensitive. Have the kids open up the Bookery app on the iPad, and then in the upper right corner, hit the enter code, and you're going to type in exactly that code. It is case sensitive, so you just have to watch for that. And the nice thing is once it's added, it's added. You don't have to do this each time. So now it's downloading and as soon as it downloads it will pop open. Okay, so there's my image. So now I can use the tools to draw on it. You can give the kids specific directions, put in the vertical lines that you see, or choose a different color and have the lines go off towards the vanishing point, draw the edges. So once you have that, you can choose to share. It's in the upper right corner to the share button and you can have them email it. Now here in the subject area, um, I have them put in their names so I can identify them later. So now if you are logged in and that's something you only need to do once, the email will send and you have a digital copy of what they did.